Welcome and oh, you know what? I need to mute my phone for my YouTube. I was like, wait a minute, my intro done run over, <laughs> but it didn't. Hey, everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm super excited about today. Today, we're all about LMS. LMS is Learning Management System in WordPress. And when would you use an LMS? If you are an instructor, an educator, a teacher, and you're wanting to share your knowledge, or if you have a membership and you want to um, have paid content behind that, we're going to show you how to build a super duper fast WordPress website with an LMS that's completely styled, designed, ready to go for you. Uh, so without further ado, Let's get this party started. And like I always do when we get started, I want to acknowledge everybody that's in the house. So F.H. Humphreys, a.k.a. Keely Dunn, my sister from another mister up north in Canada. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, Rob Vall says he will be here in a minute. Doc's live. Doc, I hope you have a great live stream, my friend. Doc Rock, if you hadn't checked his YouTube channel out, and matter of fact, these people I'm posting on here, if you haven't checked their YouTube channels out, you need to go check them out. Josh Daly's in the house. He will be helping manage the com comments as we go along. Sammy Superstar will be doing the same. Hey, Sammy, welcome to the stream. Jacobus, my brother from another mother across the big pond over there in Sweden. And... Uh, Rob, looks like you made it back. Awesome. Well, I'm super excited about, you know, diving off into this topic today and stuff. And, and um, you know, obviously 2020, everything went online, including school and, you know, just a lot of stuff transitioned to the online space. And these are one of the platforms that we're going to, we're going to build today. That's going to show you that you can use, you know, last week we built an e-commerce website one thing that I want to tell you, um, I'm going to teach you how to get online quickly. This is not the permanent solution for you. However, it is to get you online, to get you under your brand, and to get you going. You know, uh, there's processes beyond that, and I'm going to be covering all that stuff on this channel as well as what we're doing today in the last few weeks. Thursday, we've got an exciting episode that I want to tell you about. If you're into podcasting, be sure to be there for Thursday's live stream because I'm going to be building a podcast website. So, uh, League of Major Success. Absolutely. <laughs> Joel, welcome to the stream, my friend. Hey, look who else is in the house. Mr. Jenkins. Corey Jenkins, my business partner. 
man, it's good to have everybody here. I feel like the family's all in the house. Um, David Williams, I wave back at you, my brother. Peace to you. And Chocolate Twist Yoga, Kali, is in the house. Hey, DB. Hey, 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 Kali. Um, I do want to say this. If you're new, type new. If you have any questions, put a Q in front of the question so that I can sift through them and save them. Uh, let me show you what we're doing today. So I'm going to got my stream deck here. I'm going to pivot over to this thing, jump over here. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to build this site. <laughs> so this is a, um, a course site, uh, Divi courses, and we're going to, again, use the Divi theme. And I want to say this right off the bat. You can use just about any theme and find some really, really good pre-designed uh, custom you know, templates for just about any WordPress theme out there. What I will say is not all themes are created equal. Not all child themes are created equal. Uh, the, the support matters, so make sure you pick a good one. Read the reviews. Um, ask around. Join some Facebook groups. Find the one that fits your niche the best, and then roll with it. All of these are going to be whether you're on Divi, utilizing a child theme like Divi Courses here, or whether you're on Elementor and you're using one of their child themes or templates. It's going to be pretty much the same process. There may be some different buttons to click, but you're going to have um, all of the documentation that you need to roll with it. Beaver Builder, much the same. Um, all right, so we're going to build this. And also wanted to give a sneak peek of this bad boy. This is what we're going to build on Thursday. I'm going to tell you, I love this site. I just think it's dope. I think it's, it's fly, all the really cool words. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. So before I dive off into today's tutorial, I'm going to come back over here to me, and I want to just check the comments real quick one more time, finish saying hey to everybody. DM Creative Studios in the house. Welcome. Hello, hello. Um, you know, Keely says, Josh, she would like you to strike out where DB calls. <laughs> hey, Keely, consider it done. Uh, we don't even have to go through Josh. Uh, Jeremy, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you're here, my friend. Tanya is in the house. Rich, my, my good friend from Texas. Hey, man, I might be seeing you soon. I may be passing through your area. Who knows? And James Mitchell is new. Thank you for being here, James. And Rod Wayne is back. Another Texan in the house. Man, Texas is taking over. Let us know where you're from in the comments as well. And uh, that way we'll know, you know, if Texas is winning. I know there's a few Texans in the house, so I think Texas might going to win this. So. Well, without further ado, let's go dive over here onto this and let's get started. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to come over here. I've got this blank, again, WordPress install. Nothing on it other than, hey, how to build a course website real fast. I just threw this up. Uh, it is the 2020 theme that comes, you know, default with WordPress, along with the 2021 and 2019. I think those are the three themes that come out of the box. And and I got to be honest with you, you got to know what you're doing to build a, set, a website with one of those themes. <laughs> it is not as easy as using like a page builder like Divi or Elementor or Beaver Builder or anything. Uh, it's just not. So again, we're going to start from the beginning. If you were here last week and you saw me install Divi and stuff, bear with me. We're going to go through it again because I think it's important. We may have some, we obviously have some new people and stuff here. So First thing we're going to want to do is head over to Appearance and Themes because we need to make sure that we have the parent theme installed. And the parent theme that we're using today is the Divi theme by Elegant Themes. It is still, as confirmed last week, Divi Chat just did their 200th episode. Uh, we started Divi Chat 200 episodes ago. And, um, you know, Nick Roach, the CEO and founder of Elegant Themes, confirmed that Divi is still um, the number one WordPress theme in the world on active installs and stuff. So um, it's been rolling since December of 2013, and it just it's just getting better. So I have Divi here. I'm going to go ahead and click it and install it. If you don't have Divi yet, check the link in the description. 
you're going to get a free trial of Divi. Head on over to Elegant Themes, download it, try it out. Um, as a matter of fact, even the, the Divi courses theme and any of the themes that I show, I try to use free ones and stuff, free ones when I'm doing the tutorials and stuff. Um, but even if they're paid on, on my company, you get, uh, you can try them out for a couple of weeks and see if you like it. And if you hate it, ship it back. It won't cost you anything. So go ahead and click install. Now we're going to let Divi install really quickly here on this WordPress theme, the Digital Buddha's demo website. You're going to then hit activate. And once that's activated, what we are going to do is we are going to dive off into installing our child theme. Now, I like to cheat because, you know, I don't want to mislead you in any way. So I've got my, uh, you know, documentation open here really quick. And I want to just make sure that the next step is to install the child theme. Sometimes you have to install the, um, you know, put in your license key and stuff. And in this instance, I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the Divi courses zip, which is going to get us started in building this website. So we're sitting here at 210 and I'm starting the install and I want to see how long is it going to take me to go from jump to end, you know, to having this thing completely installed and stuff. So once that's installed, go ahead and hit activate. Once that's activated, you're going to notice here that it's activated. So we're going to come back over to the Divi courses and we're going to need to put in our key. So I'm going to jump over here into my Slack really quickly. I am going to, you know what, actually, I'm going to hit this screen so everybody doesn't have to watch my Slack. <laughs> I'm getting better with this. If, you, if you're curious about the software that I'm using to do this, I'm using Ecamm Live. Ecamm Live is, is the best live streaming software out there. So I am going to bounce you back over here to this screen, and I'm going to click that one so it gets on my active screen. I'm going to jump in here. I've got that. I'm going to activate my theme. Next thing I'm going to do is I need to install all the plugins that come with this child theme. So select begin install process. Select the top box up here and select them all at the same time. It's the fastest and easiest. Hit the drop down menu, select install and apply. You obviously can do it one at a time if you want to. It's a lot quicker if you do them all at the same time. So once that's done installing, we're going to need to activate these. So you want to return to the plugin installer dashboard when that comes back up select the checkbox again hit the drop down menu and select activate once that's activated you're going to hit apply and then you're done there so i'm going to double check my instructions over here just to make sure we're all on the same page we are we are and i've got all of that installed and yes we are going to head on over to the next phase which is going to be the Import demo data. And once this is going to, you know, um, once you, you, you select import demo data, this is going to bring in all of the design and the style sheets and everything you need on the front end. It's going to prompt you to set up um, the Lifter LMS plugin. Go ahead and click Get Started Now. And when it brings you to the next page here, just it's going to have the page set up. Go ahead and click Skip This Step because you don't need that. Uh, and you're going to actually hit a few skip these steps until we get to the end here, and we're going to import some um, some course content. So I'm going to hit no thanks, skip, skip, no thanks, you know, and then come here. When you get to this page, select the Lifter LMS Quick Start Course, and we are going to import courses. <laughs> we're going to give that a second, and we're going to allow that to import. And... Once that's done, we're going to head over and fi finish um, installing our demo data and stuff. And that way, all of our style sheets are going to be brought in. I'm going to jump over here while that's doing its thing. And I am going to see what's going on in the comments. Man, I should have saved my spot because <laughs> comments are flowing in. Good news is, is comments are working this week. Last week, they weren't working. And it kind of and it kind of was, you know, meh. Kind of suck because I like to pull in all of the comments. Scott, welcome, my friend. Scott is in the house. Um, 
Well, he was in the house. <laughs> he'll he'll be he'll be in the team replay. Uh, let's see here. Jorge Thomas, uh, is it on live? I'm not sure what you mean by that, but yeah, we live. We live here. I mean, matter of fact, let me give Doc Rock a shout out because I got this awesome new swag I get live in the mail, and it's awesome. Check out pressandso.com. They're amazing. Uh-oh, another Texan in the house. Tanya Allen is in Texas. Um, <laughs> Rich says I better shout howdy or he's going to come get me. I don't blame him. I'm going to shout howdy, Rich. Don't worry. Um, so Radwan, Rad, Radwain asks a very good question. Why lift your LMS? Any special things about it? So there are several LMSs in WordPress that are really, really good. And you know what? They're, they're great. You know, our personal preference is Lifter LMS. We know Chris Badgett and Thomas, the founders and creators of Lifter LMS. Um, we've known them for, for you know, quite a few years now. We've used their products. They're really good. They're reputable. Uh, they care about the WordPress community. They give back to the community big time. Not that these other LMS companies don't because Learn LearnPress and LearnDash are two really, really good ones. LearnPress is a free one that you know, is, is really, really great. Lifter has a free option as well. Um, Learn dashes, they're, they're all really good. These are just, this is just the one that we started with and that we've stuck with. And so obviously if you're a Learn Dash person or Learn Press or any other LMS that you're comfortable with, go ahead and use that. And I'm pretty sure that across the board on all of the major WordPress themes, there's going to be child themes built with those platforms as well. So thanks for asking that question. Um, let's see here. I am going to, all right, let's just go ahead and we will dive back into the oh, wrong way with the wrong way. Okay. So now that we're installed, Lifter LMS has been installed. It's going to take you to the front end of the website, but you're going to want to go back to the back end. So go back to your dashboard. And now we are going to come over here and we're going to install, import the demo data. So when we click on that import demo data, you're going to see this screen, click the big blue button and allow this demo data to import. So while that's importing, I want to go ahead and just make sure that I'm on the same page. I'm going to kind of read ahead here real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Should be about done. Well, hey, it's still thinking, <laughs> um, you know, we will, we will let that do its thing. And I will go back to the comments real quick and we will see if there's any more questions. Uh, Mr. Hunt is in the house. David, thank you for joining. If you guys have questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments. When you get an open space, any thoughts on Lyft or LMS versus learn dash. So, Joel, they're two really, really great platforms. Um, LearnDash and Lifter are probably the two most well-known LMSs in WordPress. And um, I know Justin Ferriman, who owns, you know, the founder and creator of, you know, LearnDash as well. And, um, and they're great products. There's no really thought, you know, they're both friends of mine, so I, I don't want to go, you know, like, this one versus this one, they're both great. It just depends on your, whichever one you feel the most comfortable with, you know? Um, so yeah, I don't know that that helps you. Um, Keely wants to know about WP courseware. WP courseware is another one, you know? So, um, yeah, WP courseware, I'm going to be, you know, um, transparent Keely. I haven't used that one. I haven't looked at that one. I have looked at learn press, learn dash, uh, lifter, um, and you know, WP courseware, if the reviews are good and the installs, I'm pretty sure that you're, you're probably good with WP courseware as well. Uh, Ryan's in the house. Hey, Ryan, welcome. Rod Wayne says, can they handle thousands of students? Absolutely. Um, we've been doing, um, courses and education now since early 2018, maybe even late 2017, we have thousands and thousands of students and Lifter LMS handles it with no issue whatsoever. Um, Corey says there's some good comparison articles out there. Thanks, Corey. Corey, if you find one, you want to link it in the chat. 
um, go ahead. Of course, my business partner might need to be made a moderator on my YouTube channel <laughs> to do that. So uh, let's go back and see if the um, import demo data is installed yet. All right, so we're good. We're 100% complete on this side. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go over to the uh, settings and hit the reading because we're going to set our home pages and our internal pages. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select the home page three. This one comes with three different designed home pages. My personal experience and professional opinion. Home page three will convert the best. So if you download this child theme and you use it, I'm going to say use home page three from a marketing standpoint and a site architecture. That one will probably convert the best for a courses website. Uh, the post page, we're going to select blog, and we're going to go ahead and hit save. Next thing we're going to want to do is we need to go over and set our footer widgets. So collect appearance widgets. We're going to come over here to footer area two, and we're going to select navigation menu, and we want to select the footer menu. We're going to hit save. At the same time, while we're doing this, I want to make sure. My, now, looky there, Corey and Josh. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> I don't know how this happened, but earlier it was uh, it was not set like that. I had to go in and do something else, but it looks like it got fixed. Man, our team is awesome and fast. Uh, next steps we're going to do is we're going to come back over here to, um, you know, to Lifter LMS, and we've got to set a few things in it. So let's head to the settings of Lifter LMS, and inside these settings we want to select the Courses tab. And we want to select the courses page. So scroll down here. You're going to select courses catalog. Hit save changes. We're going to then set the memberships page. It's much the same. Come down here. Select the memberships page. And we've named them accordingly. Membership catalog, courses catalog, etc. And we're going to kind of go through this. The accounts, the checkout, and so on and so forth. So we're on the accounts page. We want to select our dashboard page, which is going to be dashboard ID. And I don't think there's anything else on this. Oh, you know what? I'm going to double check just to be safe because I did this a couple of weeks ago and it was not right. Oh, we are right. This is the page. So you're also going to want to scroll down to uh, the sections where you can uh, checkout field, we want to make sure that the, let me see here, where does it start? It's going to start in the checkout fields, email confirmation, enable, disable. So checkout fields here, we're going to select the add email confirmation field, make sure that's checked. We want to make sure that the enable, disable is checked as well for the open registration fields. And then we're going to make sure that the add email Confirmation field is checked. And then the account updates field, make sure that email is checked. We're going to hit save changes. While that's saving, I'm going to shoot over here. We're going to set the checkout page. And then we're going to be done, I think. Man, we're going to come up here to the checkout page. And we're going to hit the drop-down menu. And we're going to choose, let's see which one, purchase. I'm pretty sure it's purchase. Let me double check. Yeah, it is purchase. Okay. Now, you'll notice that there are some settings to set up the Bloom plugin as well. And it is, as you can tell, there is a lot that goes into setting that up. I'm going to kind of skip that setup because it's, you know, it's going to take a few minutes. And I think you kind of get the the obvious, you know, what a pop-up is and that it's styled and stuff. So I want to come back over here to the front page of this website and hopefully, fingers crossed, oh my goodness, that looks the same as the demo site. So uh, this is home page three, as I said. You know, I really like it because it's got a really good call to action, a video up front where you can tell about what it is that you're offering and stuff. Uh, you scroll down and you'll see this thing is completely designed from start to finish, uh, footers design, headers design. I'll quickly go ahead and show this pop-up example here where um, there's nothing there because I didn't set it up, but I'm going to jump over to our demo site 
which actually has it set up so that you can see what it looks like. So all that would have done by following those final steps to set the bloom plugin up is to, you know, you've got a styled pop-up that, you know, you can use for user acquisition and stuff. So before we dive off into more of this and a few things walking you through the site, I wanted to just kind of check on the comments real quick. Um, so, man, we're at 225, 15 minutes later. The child theme, that, that WordPress website is built, installed, 15 minutes. Now, it's not branded to you, but you could have it installed and start working. And I did a lot of talking in between, you know. Um, so, technically, you probably could have done it with in 10 minutes if I wouldn't have done the talking and stuff. Uh, Steve is in the house. Um, given I'm looking to launch some courses on site ground, timing is great. Well, I'm glad you're here, Steve. If you have any questions, you, you feel free to reach out and ask me and stuff. Uh, Josh says one unique difference is Learn Dash does not have a free option. That's not a problem if you're diving right in, and it can be a problem if you're if you're looking to slowly ramp up. He is 100% correct. Thanks for adding that in, Josh, because that's a really really important. Lifter has a free, um, Learn Press has free option, and maybe Keeley can let us know if WP Courseware has a free option as well. Um, so. Rod Wayne says he found a comparison. He may not be able to link it and stuff because he's not a moderator in the channel and stuff. Um, other than that, Lifter LMS, Learn Dash offer many of the same features. Um, yeah, here you go. A Themes has Lifter LMS versus Learn Dash. Um, Bloom is the email opt in plugin for this demo. Yes, absolutely 100%. Joel, Bloom is it. It comes with your Elegant Theme subscription. It's integrated with Divi. Um, it's built by the, the same company that makes Divi. <clears throat> so it's really tied in. And Bloom's a great plugin. I mean, it's a really, really nice plugin. Matter of fact, a few years ago, one of the other big WordPress companies forked it, started selling it. <laughs> I don't know if Corey remembers that, but it was kind of a. Uh, uh, you know, WordPress is open source and the beauty about open source is that, and the way that WordPress works is if you can take an existing product and improve upon it, you can technically fork it, you know, which is called forking in WordPress, which is you can create a product and start selling it and stuff. So, um, yeah, I can't remember which company did that, but it was not, not, not too good. Um, Josh also put it in the description and stuff. And, um, so there you go. Um, I didn't see anything where you posted as well, Josh. I see the link that Corey posted. So not sure if you got it into the chat and stuff, unless restream is having issues, uh, again, like last week. So let's bounce back over here to this screen and let's just kind of walk through what you get on this child theme. So like I said, there's three home pages that you can come in here, design, customize, and brand to your company. So home page one, you know, has all of this. You just come in, swap out your images, replace all this lorem ipsum with your own content. Uh, it's got icons that we custom created and stuff. I'm not sure if we custom created these, but... Corey and jo Corey will probably know uh, in the comments and stuff, and he he can let y'all know and stuff. I'm gonna take my toolbar off of the bottom of the of the screen. So comes with this home page. You've also got a second home page, which is a little bit different design. Where this one right here actually, you know, if you have multiple things that you're doing, like coaching and courses and consultation and mentoring, it gives you that option to showcase that on the homepage as well. So that one might actually fit, fit with you and stuff. You got your available courses lined up through the homepage as well. And then page three, which was the one that we started off, which I really liked the most for conversion because it's more of most course creators and content creators like this. Um, you know, they have a certain, you know, goal in mind. They want to get students into their course. Well, what's the best way to do that? The best way to do that is to bring them to a landing page, 
show them what you got, you know, what you're offering them, show them the value and stuff. So I really think this page does it the best um, of the three home pages, but they all, it just depends on what your niche is. But if it's straight up out of the box, you do courses, no consultation and all that stuff. Homepage three is your page because it shows you what you get in the course. It dives in, gives you a countdown timer when the course is going to launch and stuff, which creates that sense of urgency like, oh, I got to buy this now. Uh, and it's got testimonials built into it and stuff. So uh, FAQs, it's just a really, really good landing page for courses. Uh, next thing that, that I want to show you on this is that this is completely designed what most – you know, most of the um, themes and stuff, what happens is, is they don't, they don't really, you know, let you know that there are tens of dozens of twenties of whatever's of pages that need to be designed, you know, and if you're not a developer and a designer and you don't have that skill set, having these designed is huge. So I kind of want to walk through you, you know, We've got some fake dummy content in here on this site and stuff, but it's mainly we put it in here so that we could design it and we could, um, you know, style it for you to where you could come in, brand it with your colors, brand it with your own content and stuff, and then and then it'll be taken care of. So let's dive back over here into this page, and you'll notice that under the Courses tab, there's your course catalog, which actually is designed out, and we put some fake courses here and. And this will, you know, business course, finance, whatever it is. I'm This is just dummy content that when you put your courses in, this is kind of the page that's going to show. So, you know, a courses page, you know, here I have an example of introduction to accounting and financial statements. As you scroll down, you're going to see the instructor, uh, the syllabus basically of what the course is. And this is just like with any LMS, you're going to get all of this stuff. The good news is, is that it's, it's styled and designed already. You're getting started buttons, your progress bars, all of those things are done for you. Uh, here's an example of a lesson page. These are huge. If you don't know what you're doing, this can look really like poo-poo, you know, and we've designed it. Now, we've designed it to where you get to choose, you know, your core structure, whether you want full width, you want two columns, three columns, and we give you some examples in here so that when you're setting up your course content on the back end, you get to choose what you want and how you want it to flow and what you want it to look like and stuff. So we give you some examples of what your lessons can look like. I feel like I hear some S's and P's. Y'all let me know if y'all are hearing it because... This is the Shure SM7B, and I'm hoping I don't hear those, but I may need to put one of those big old muffs on like Doc has on his microphone. So this one comes with the quiz integration and stuff. If you do quizzes, it's great. We've already styled the quiz integration. We don't know that you're going to need quizzes, but my philosophy, again, is give you everything you're going to need and the kitchen sink, and you know if you need it, great. It's styled for you. If you don't need it, you're not installing it, and you don't have to worry about it. The good news is, is that it is taken care of for you if it is. So here's what your dashboard's going to look like. This is what your students will see. They'll come into the back end of their dashboard, and whatever they're enrolled in, whatever, you know, they can come directly to the courses that they're enrolled in. They've got their um, how they're doing, their progress and stuff, whatever memberships they're involved in, if any, the achievements that they may have received, which you may have like badges and stuff that each member gets, uh, their account notifications, order history, everything is in here, obviously what a dashboard would be. Um, and then obviously there's a checkout page. I need to head on over here and check one of these, add one of these courses to... Um, well, this one's a free one. I don't know that it's going to show me. I'm going to go back to the course catalog. Let's see if we can find one that is a paid one. I want to see here. I'm going to say buy this course, 50 bucks. Let's go. And then I'm going to come over here to the purchase page, which is the checkout cart. And I still don't have one. So obviously we don't have that hooked up right now, but that's okay. Uh, we've got several different frequently asked questions, designed pages, 
that you that you can check out and stuff. So these are all just pre-designed templates, multiple options, contact pages. We've got three different contact page options. You're more than welcome to take a look at them on the demo site, and we'll have the demo site linked in the description as well. Your blog content is styled, you know, so that you can come in and just start producing content immediately, throw your um, your your featured image in there, and you're ready to go. So uh, pretty much done. I mean, everything that you're going to want in a course LMS website is done. So I've showed you how to set up Divi courses, which is, Really, really quick. We've now been going 25 minutes of mostly me talking and showing you something, but this thing was installed a long time ago. N depending on what theme you're on or what what platform you build on or what, what you use WordPress for, um, I can guarantee you this. Elementor's got courses, child themes that are built on probably Learn Dash Lifter Learn Press and AVWP courseware as well. Um, you know, I know that Keeley's on Genesis, so obviously, you know, there's probably something, a theme out there with Genesis that has the WP courseware. Genesis, you know, Divi, Elementor, Beaver Builder, Aveda, um, all of the major ones um, will definitely have child themes and stuff set up with them. So, that is, I'm going to jump back over here to the comments and see if anybody has said anything. Uh, Josh said he's added everything to the description of the documentation. Josh, you the man. Thank you so much. Um, so, Corey, I don't know what you need to be forgetting, but <laughs> well, poof, Digital Buddha took it away from you. Um, let's see here. And Daniel came in late. We'll watch the replay, team replay. Hey, if you're watching the replay here and you have questions, put them in the comments. I'll come back, read every comment. I reply to every comment, and I'll be glad to answer them and stuff. Daniela says she is Divi fan for life. Guess what, Daniela? Me too. Hashtag team Divi. Um, yeah, last, last week whenever we... You know, Divi Chat had uh, Nick Roach on the 200th episode. Um, you know, he kind of talked about, you know, where Divi stood in the world. Divi, Divi was number one in the world for a long time, and I'm like, man, it's been around for a minute. There's a lot of new stuff out there, so are they still number one? And he confirmed that they were based on active installs of the major page builders and stuff and themes um, that, that Divi was still, you know, holding up that top spot. So that's really good. Uh, Joel has a question here. How does course navigation work as someone is taking a course? What sort of analytics are there to see of what people are doing inside the courses in Lyft or LMS? Joel, that's a really, really good question. So from the student stand side of things, they're going to have progress bars as they complete, you know, depending on how you have the course set up and you have, you got to remember that you have complete autonomy and control of how you want that course set up. So whether it's they they can start consume all of the content at once or whether that's drip fed to them over time, uh, they are going to have uh, progress bars and completion certificates and badges based on how you set it up in the LMS. You have complete control. So your students are going to see one thing, but you're also going to have analytics reporting software that's built in the Lifter LMS, as well as I'm sure the other um, LMS platforms as well, to where you'll get the analytics on your students right there in the um, dashboard of your WordPress website. So I wasn't, I mean, I guess we could go dive around and dig around. I don't know. I won't do that on this live stream, but here's what I will do. I do plan on coming back. I'm going to have supplement videos that walk you through the back end of all of these websites that I'm building. An e-commerce website, the courses, LMS website, the podcast website, how to get a website up in a few minutes, which is just like a brochure website. I'm actually going to walk you through setting it up yourself, branding it, skinning it, having some content as if I was a brand new person doing that and then going through the features and benefits of each of those sites. So I do have those videos planned. They're scheduled out. 
I do know from experience, though, Joel, that um, Lifters reporting is is really really good. You can see how many students are taking the course, how many actually started it, um, you know, and get all of the analytics that you want to get so that you can try to better help your students and stuff to drive up the completion of those skills and stuff. Uh, Keely says, I believe my child theme was ready for WP courseware. Theme-wise, she may have added some CSS for the buttons uh, that she liked better. Yeah, look, Keely's a boss. You know, I mean, she's a, you know, she's she dove in. She's like me. She dove in and says, CSS, I ain't scared. Let's go. You know, I'm going to. I don't like the, these buttons. I'm going to figure it out. And she probably went to the University of YouTube, like me, and figured out how to do that, which is how what I did. Um, hey, Eric's in the house. Thanks for stopping by, Eric. It's got to be late where you're at, late 30, like pushing midnight or something. Um, James asked a question. Is there any guidance available explaining how to exchange your data in place of the child theme's imported data? Um, well, I'm going to cover that, James, actually in a video and stuff. So um, it's pretty straightforward. So like in the back of WordPress, all of your pages, posts that we style, um, you know, you can go in and, you know, replace all of that content yourself. You just open a page and that page structure is set for you. For example, that home page. In Divi, all of those modules and rows will show up and stuff. And the, the powerful thing about it is with the front-end builder, you can see it changing real-time. So you're editing as you're going and you're watching it because WordPress moved to React. Um, you know, Divi went to the front-end editor as opposed to the back-end editor, which used to be back-end dashboard, edit, hit preview, go to the front-end. Now it's so slick and awesome you're doing everything from the front end of the website. So you can actually see it real time before you ever save any changes and you don't have to hit preview. So if it says, you know, digital Buddha's website, you want it to change it to James's website. As you're typing James to replace digital Buddha, you're seeing it live and stuff. And that's the power of WordPress and React and JavaScript and the way that WordPress has kind of progressed in time and is going. So... It's, uh, it's, it's pretty awesome, dude. It's pretty awesome. Um, but I'm going to walk through doing that, James. If you're not on our email list, just jump on our email list. We send out emails to let people know what we're doing each week, what we're going to cover, what topics and stuff. And you can, you can get on, um, on our email list on any of our properties, Divi Space, Aspen Grove Studios, and um, yeah, check it out. So, I said, <laughs> this is not me, by the way, but somebody acting is me. Um, here are the available lists or LMS features. Overview page. Thank you, Josh, Corey, somebody, whoever. Um, Buddha, as a person who works 24-7, it's never late or early. Eric, I totally understand. I see you, my friend. I got you. I got you. Um Josh says, Tanya Allen, are you hosting the videos on WordPress or using YouTube platform? Uh, oh, so Tanya asks, you know, a question. Any recommendations for the size of the videos? Yeah, here's our recommendation. Don't host them on your WordPress website unless Josh Daly, that guy down there, just came out with an amazing plugin called Infinite Uploads, which takes your entire WordPress media library and puts it into the cloud because speed matters. You don't want to bog your site down by putting your videos into your media, your WordPress library, and then, you know, hosting them on your site. We use Vimeo. We have a paid account with Vimeo. We're soon going to be switching to that dude's amazing product, Infinite Uploads. Go check it out, infiniteuploads.com. Josh, drop a link in the chat and stuff. Um, you want to make sure that you just have your videos on another platform and stuff and then embed them into the website, not to where they're like sucking your bandwidth and because depending on where your students are and stuff, depending on their internet connection, it all matters. Uh, you're welcome, James. I will let you know what we're doing. Um, and Tanya says that she's probably going to host it on YouTube. Um, we won't use too many resources in our hosting. Good job. Good deal. Well, I think, you know what? Um, 
Unless anybody else has any specific questions, I think we're pretty much ready to go. I think we've done it. I kind of done did what I wanted to accomplish, which was to just kind of install these websites, get them up quickly, let you see what it was going to look like and stuff when it's completely designed and you can get it up and, and done quickly. So these redesigns, I'm going to kind of give you an idea of, of what's coming up. Thursday we're going to do... We're going to build a podcast website really quick, which is just one of my favorites. It's, it's just an incredible design by our team and stuff. I absolutely love it. Um, and then Monday, next week, we're going to start transitioning to some of these, um, you know, how do we set up these these websites and stuff and rebrand them and do that kind of stuff. So um, I think we're good. Josh put it in there. Great job on the infinite uploads and you know what? Hmm. I want to thank everybody for coming. I want to thank everyone for supporting the channel. Again, if you're new type new, if you're in team replay type replay in the comments, please hit the likes button. And if you like the con content and you're a WordPress and you're wanting to learn more, I'm going to be educating more and more and more things about WordPress and my whole mission is to help, you know, make WordPress and e-commerce simpler, you know. So that's kind of the goal of this YouTube channel. And <clears throat> one of the reasons why we got into the product business is because, you know, we were doing, I was a do-it-yourselfer when I started. You know, when I started using WordPress, I didn't know anything. I wasn't a developer and stuff. And I, I was self-taught and I educated myself. And I realized that, you know, there were, there were some things that would have helped me more than others. And I've kind of patterned the company after, you know, trying to help those types of people who were like me when I started, you know, which was this much knowledge of nothing. So, um, really appreciate all the support, all of you guys coming out and we're going to catch you all next week. And you know what I like to do? We came in with music. We go in out with music and let me see which one do we want to do today um you know what better places is just a great song so i'm gonna put this over here you're welcome ryan thank you for coming by my friend um let's hit this music we're gonna head out i hope everybody has a fantastic week it's monday We'll see you on Thursday. James, thanks for coming, my friend. Really appreciate you coming here. Thank you, thank you. Got a new end screen. I want y'all to tell me what you think about it, too. There we go. Peace, everybody. Have a great week. <laughs>